Listen to the talk and indicate whether the following statements are true or false. The Taj Mahal, Architecture of Love. The Taj Mahal is often considered one of the most beautiful buildings of the world. It was built by an Indian emperor as a memorial to his beloved wife. Prince Kuram was born in 1592. His father was the fourth Mughal emperor of India. The prince met Arjumand Banu Begum at a marketplace when he was 15 years old. It was love at first sight. Their wedding took place five years later, and she became his second wife. When he became the fifth Mughal emperor of India in 1628, he called her Mumtaz Mahal, which meant chosen one of the palace. She accompanied him on many battles, advised him on many of the country's problems, and was loved by all the people in the country because she was very kind and generous. The Taj Mahal, Architecture of Love The Taj Mahal is often considered one of the most beautiful buildings of the world. It was built by an Indian emperor as a memorial to his beloved wife. Prince Kuram was born in 1592. His father was the fourth Mughal emperor of India. The prince met Arjumand Banu Begum at a marketplace when he was 15 years old. It was love at first sight. Their wedding took place five years later and she became his second wife. When he became the fifth Mughal emperor of India in 1628, he called her Mumtaz Mahal, which meant chosen one of the palace. She accompanied him on many battles, advised him on many of the country's problems, and was loved by all the people in the country because she was very kind and generous. Listen to the talk and choose the best option to complete the statements or answer the question. Wind energy. Harnessing the wind is one of the cleanest, most sustainable ways to generate electricity. Wind power produces no toxic emissions and none of the heat trapping emissions that contribute to global warming. This and the fact that wind power is one of the most abundant and increasingly cost-competitive energy resources makes it a viable alternative to the fossil fuels that harm our health and threaten the environment. Wind energy is the fastest growing source of electricity in the world. Global installations in 2005 reached more than 11,500 megawatts, MW, a 40.5% increase in annual additions compared with 2004, representing $14 billion in new investments. In the United States, a record 2,431 megawatts of wind power was installed in 2005, capable of producing enough electricity to power 650,000 typical homes. Despite this rapid growth, wind power is still a relatively small part of our electricity supply, generating less than 1% of both the U.S. and global electricity mix. But thanks to its many benefits and significantly reduced costs, wind power is poised to play a major role as we move toward a sustainable energy future. Wind energy. Harnessing the wind is one of the cleanest, most sustainable ways to generate electricity. Wind power produces no toxic emissions and none of the heat trapping emissions that contribute to global warming. This and the fact that wind power is one of the most abundant and increasingly cost competitive energy resources makes it a viable alternative to the fossil fuels that harm our health and threaten the environment. 
Wind energy is the fastest growing source of electricity in the world. Global installations in 2005 reached more than 11,500 megawatts, MW, a 40.5% increase in annual additions compared with 2004, representing $14 billion in new investments. In the United States, a record 2,431 megawatts of wind power was installed in 2005, capable of producing enough electricity to power 650,000 typical homes. Despite this rapid growth, wind power is still a relatively small part of our electricity supply, generating less than 1% of both the U.S. and global electricity mix. But thanks to its many benefits and significantly reduced costs, wind power is poised to play a major role as we move toward a sustainable energy future.